So the Christmas holiday sale season is around the corner and today I am going to have a look at the Etsy trends that have just been released for the Christmas and holiday season this year. Now let me just put a caveat here. I am not someone who personally cares about trends either in my personal life or in my business. Uh, my particular business especially is very much about classical minimalist design that will always be in fashion for the right people. So trends are not something I tend to pay a whole heck of a lot of attention to. However, some of you may be running businesses where trends are actually really useful to you. So having a look at this information might be something that you find really helpful. So I'm going to do, it's basically a reaction video to <laughs> the Etsy trends, which are quite interesting uh, for 2023. Before I get onto that though, I just want to give you a quick announcement and that is that next week in the Thriver Circle we are running the holiday prep challenge. It's a seven day challenge and it will get you completely prepared so you are calm and in control for the holiday season ahead. So if it's your first year in business, your 15th year in business, doesn't matter. It's time to start getting ready for the holiday period. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. You know, there's Halloween, there's Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday. There is Christmas, especially obviously Christmas is generally the big one in the Western world. So if you haven't already got yourself organized for all of that, now is the time to do that. <laughs> so uh, if you need some help with that, if it's your first year and you have no idea what you need to be doing, the challenge will help you. If you've been in business for a while and you just want to kind of a little bit of guidance and help to get yourself organized and get your head around everything, come and join us in the Thriver Circle for the Holiday Prep Challenge. I will put a link in the description below and on the screen now so you can go check it out. I would love to see you in there and it's going to be super fun and we're going to get a lot done in one week. Okay, so let's have a look at these trends, shall we? Okay, so here we are. Etsy releases 2023 holiday trends from gingerbread girl staples, the next viral aesthetic, to mantlescaping must-haves. All right. Um, now, they mentioned something really interesting here and that is Etsy has just announced a gift registry which is going to be really great people can use it for you know weddings baby showers birthdays christmas whatever it might be this might be something you'd like to tell your customers about in case it's something they'd be interested in using um, now they can say at the top here they say you know searches for handmade gifts have grown over 16 times in the last three months alone people are now gift shopping so now is the time to take advantage of that now in the handmade prep challenge, we are going to be talking a lot about this sort of stuff. We're going to be talking about the steps to take in order to improve your chances of getting sales. We're going to talk about how to prep your shop, all that sort of stuff. But today we're just going to look at the trends. Okay. So number one is gingerbread girl. Apparently tomato girl ruled this summer. <laughs> I don't know where they come up with these names for things, uh, but apparently it is the it aesthetic this winter. Charming, whimsical and all around nostalgic which we think of as cottage cause baking obsessed sister is a return to a wholesome rustic lifestyle that celebrates simplicity, tradition, and all things baking. So how they get this information and where the trend expert comes up with this stuff is looking at the search results. So you can see here, wreath sashes doubled in searches, ruffled bedding up 35%, gingham bedding up 40, uh, 34%, personalized recipe boxes, holiday cookie cutters. So they look at these trends in search and then they, bring them together and try to come up with like a theme for them. And that is where they get this trend information. Now I'm going to keep going through this one, but I just want to give you a little heads up. There is actually an earlier version of this that they released in August. And this is the marketplace insights for the festive trends of 2023. I'm going to put both these links in the description, by the way, if you want to go look at these in more detail. But this one here is, is much more detailed. It's a little bit earlier, but they talk about key timing and occasions, decor trends, style trends, gifting trends. Okay. And they explain how to use this report as well. So basically they talk about all the different holidays here, and then they're going to go through and they're going to give you ideas on keyword searches that have been booming on the platform. So this is really useful. Go have a look through this and see if any of these keywords in here in either of these are keywords that you can incorporate into your shop because that way you're going to be riding the coattails of the trends basically okay so let's get back to this one so we've got our gingerbread girl we've got mantle scaping 
<laughs> Move over tablescaping. Mantlescaping, i.e. styling your mantle in a captivating way, is a new trend taking over fly places this winter. Now, obviously, this is aimed at a Northern Hemisphere audience. Those of us here in the Southern Hemisphere are in beautiful spring heading into summer right now. <laughs> Nobody's using their fireplaces. <laughs> to be fair, though, people still do use mantelpieces if they have them to decorate for Christmas. And again, it's just it's a name for a theme. So they're talking about we've got candle lanterns, ceramic trees, accent ornaments, things that are people are looking for to buy for Christmas decor and holiday decor for their house. So that is the next trend is mantlescaping. So cute little, basically cute little items to pop around your house uh, to d decorate for Christmas. That's what people are looking for. Grandpa chic is the next one. Uh, a more masculine spin on the grand millennial and coastal grandmother trends we've seen recently. I honestly, where do they come up with this stuff? <laughs> you can tell I'm really not on the trend bandwagon because I find this stuff quite amusing, but what to take again, what to take away from here is if you can, if you can use any of the things that are trendy, take advantage of it because a lot of people do follow trends. Okay. Uh, warm sense of history and comfort. Distinguished decor aesthetic is characterized by rich tones, burgundy, olive green, tobacco brown. Yeah, that does feel like grandpa chic, doesn't it? Uh, dark woods, play textiles and leather. So leather items are in strong demand, especially in the home and living category. And again, you can click through to these links and find out more. Searches for leather poofs up more than three times. How do you pronounce that? I don't, I'm never quite sure. Um, searches for wood and marble coasters have grown more than four times. So this is another thing that people are looking for. Elevated entertaining. Searches for entertaining items have grown 10 times on Etsy, telling us that after the first, pu the past few years of virtual gatherings and outdoor entertaining, the art of hosting is making a triumphant return. There's been a staggering 28,277% increase in searches for Zodiac tea towels. Now, if you are doing Zodiac stuff, you want to jump on this bandwagon. Um, linen placemats, handmade barware and glassware. So this stuff is just booming right now, apparently. Um, alternatively, searches for single use and disposable dining items are trending down. So people are more interested in sustainability and earth friendly items and again even though this is not necessarily a keyword they have searched it's the trend right the trend is people looking for long lasting quality eco-friendly sustainable products so for me i can actually take advantage of that in that my work is in that sphere like eco-friendly sustainable recycle i don't really have the word sustainable much in my shop which is probably a real oversight and I should probably fix that in fact I'm going to pause right now and write that down so this is a great example of not seeing the forest for the trees where you run a business I've been running a fair of my jewelry business for oh again I haven't I've got one ring on two rings on um for 15 years now or something and the eco-friendly ethical recycled element is or has always been a part of my shop but sustainable is just one of those kind of keyword buzzwords that for some reason has like gone straight over my head so I am definitely going to be doing some editing to my Etsy keywords to get that in there even though it's got nothing to do with entertaining or you know dining stuff it's still something people are looking for all right so the next one, and this is, um, there's two more. So candy core, uh, in a year dominated by all things pink, think the Barbie movie, big, big thing that's happened this year. Uh, things are taking on a more pastel hue as part of the new craze we're dubbing candy core. Inspired by sugary fantasy world filled with lollipops, candy canes and gumdrops, childlike. Okay. So cotton candy cakes doubled on search, iridescent sequined items, stained glass ornaments, scalloped placemats, napkins or runners. Um, <laughs> as many shoppers borrow inspiration from their favorite summer trend, mermaid core. <laughs> All right, so if you have this sort of pastel, pink, bright, fun stuff, you might want to chuck some of these um, keywords in there. Again, you can click through to these and find out more about them. So I'll show you what happens. So we go to sculpt placemats. It's going to, you know, show you some examples. Okay. So I'm going to show you a little hack here. So if you click through to an item and then you have a look here, they've got, you know, you can look at what keywords they're using in their titles. Ditto with the description. So they've got lots of information in here. And then when you scroll to the bottom, 
you're going to see all of these potential keywords down here in explore related searches so these are all keywords related to this item that you could potentially use in your shop all right so head, let's head back here so candy core okie dokie let's look at meaningful memories so searches for travel essentials have grown 10 times and travel planners have doubled it's clear that many shoppers are prioritizing experiences this holiday season okay birth flower travel cases 21,687 percent that is crazy sellers are taking the ever popular birth flower trend to the next level uh, bags luggage tags passport covers so again they've given you some lovely example products here of things that are trending and that people are looking for right now and they've got the links to all of them down here as well so if you want to like go through and look at any of these because i mean they have picked these particular listings to highlight so these are listings that are doing well that are showing the best of things for you so you can have a look here as well at the trends page and this is again where you can look through the trends so the benefit again of uh working with this and using keywords and making products or at least you know changing keywords on your already existing products to take advantage of that is that you could show up in these trend reports as well and these are the sort of things that etsy is going to be promoting by the way these are the colors of the year i don't know if you've seen this but they have started picking colors of the year so if you have indigo or honeycomb stuff make sure to tag that in your shop as well okay so that is a little overview of the trend report did you see anything in there that would work for you or that you can incorporate into your shops i hope so uh, if not it's something that you can keep an eye on for the future they do these trend reports of course around the holiday period they also at the beginning of the year do another one and they release the trend report for the year and they release the colors of the year as well so that's going to change next year remember if you want some help getting your holiday stuff sorted for your business come and join us for the holiday prep challenge inside the thriver circle my membership community for makers who want to grow a thriving and profitable handmade business faster you can check that out in the description i would love to get to know you and your business a little bit better if you're here you're probably an Etsy seller right so maybe after this video you would like to go check out this one well actually these ones because this is my playlist of etsy videos that i have done as you can see there are quite a lot so i hope you find some more information there that will help you grow your etsy shop thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this one do give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway was and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one bye for now